Hey, I'm at edge of my seat here, back again with another brand new video. So today I will be no damaging all the boss fights in No More Heroes 3 on death difficulty. Now I have made a video no damaging all the boss fights on California like Reaper difficulty. It's not actually called California Reaper, it's called Carolina Reaper. Like I actually titled like my previous video California Reaper and then someone in the comments pointed out that I was wrong and I have changed it to Carolina Reaper. So yeah, that was a massive mistake I've made there. But yeah, now I'm doing death difficulty because it is technically the hardest difficulty, but it's also only accessible through the time machine. Now, what does this difficulty change? Well, I'm not going to talk about that because I'm instead going to mention that pressing the heavy attack button once releases two attacks. The only other game which I know that does this is uh, Judgment, which is the Yakuza spin-off, and a sequel to that game, Lost Judgment, is coming out is coming out in like a week. And I've promised people that I'm going to spend three hours talking about Joe Biden in that upcoming video. And frankly, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to find a way. But yeah, I'm going to try to avoid repeating a lot of the things I said in my previous like No More Heroes 3 No Damage video. So I definitely recommend watching that just to kind of get my commentary and thoughts on like a lot of the stuff in that game. And also because throughout my No Damage in that previous video, I, s I wore the fuck racism hoodie. This time I will not be wearing that because it'll be a bit redundant and also... I really do like this purple like jacket which Travis has from Travis Strikes Again. I think it's probably like his best look. And I've paired it with uh, a green shirt because I thought it looks like Buzz Lightyear. However, uh, someone has pointed out to me that it's a Joker fit and I did not realize that. Also, someone has pointed out that the shirt is uh, green and I don't mean like normal green. I mean like <laughs> Like, Kiwami 2, I can't escape it. It haunts me every single day. Like, the Kiwami rant, the Kiwami 2, Kiwami 1, Kenzen Kiwami, Kiwami 3, Kiwami 4, Kuruhio Kiwami, the Deluxe Edition. Like, oh my goodness. So, yeah, uh, I'm not really talking about much strategies of this boss fight because I think I talked about it in my previous video. But I think one of the issues I had with my previous video is that this game is so fast that I barely had time to talk about anything. But there is one change up from like in this video from the previous video and that's that the music so I don't know I feel like doing a death mode like run by itself would be very redundant because it's pretty much going to be about the same like I mean yeah I do think I tackled these boss fights in a more skillful manner and sometimes uh, the death mode difficulty actually makes things a little bit harder though I, I don't know how to judge that it's just that a big part of this game's combat system is honestly kind of luck like there's definitely a lot of skillful elements to it but like the slot machines here. Uh, oh yeah, if you noticed, I actually unlocked the invincible slot machine, and then I got sucked into one of the black holes, and uh, no damage was dealt to me. Like, if you go into one of those black holes normally, you take damage, however, if you have the invincibility thing on, uh, you don't take damage. So yeah, there's like some attacks here that are like, con that are, like really contextual, like grab attacks the boss fights could do, or just those big black hole attacks, which have all these really fancy animations. But yeah, if Travis gets stuck into one of those attacks, all that'll happen is that you know, well, he won't take damage, but he'll go through the animation which will lead to him taking damage. And it's really funny because there's like this one attack in the game where, uh, hmm, how do I go about it? Yeah, there's this one attack in the game, which is just like this one dude grabbing you, just headbutting the shit out of you, but you don't take any damage from it if you have the invincibility mode on. That's what I'm saying. That's one of the slot rewards and the slot rewards are random. I mean, yeah, if you get the slot rewards like a whole bunch of times, then eventually you'll get something awesome. But, you know, like the how fast you defeat a boss fight could honestly depend on those slot rewards sometimes. Because you could actually demolish certain boss fights just by how many good slot rewards you get. And also, this is Kanye West. I, just, I really wanted to include on site in like a no damage boss fight video. And I thought I would include it with the first boss fight, but it did not fit his vibe at all. But this one, it fits perfectly. Like, just like all the noise that's happening for me like demolishing gold gold joe over here like it flows so well with on site and i think it's really well seen like oh my goodness like, i'm telling you so yeah like like i said i think uh, doing a normal death mode run would be redundant especially since other people have actually done it before me so to kind of spice things up i changed my wardrobe and i'm also going to change the music of every single boss fight now for the previous boss fight i didn't exactly change his music like uh Mr. Black Hole, I instead just used the vocal version of his, like, song. Ooh, look at that. But yeah, I used the vocal version of that, of, like, his theme, because before this game came out, like, uh, the, the music composer of this game, or at least one of the composers, yeah, like, Red Orca, 
I don't know, they, they pretty much like made the band Red Orca just made music because they were so hyped for making music from this game. And I guess like the music they made from that album is in this game, and uh, I don't really know how to clarify on that because like, yeah. But what I'm saying is that like the vocal tr versions of the of these songs were not included in this game, and it's like, why? Now for Phantom Skate, like that song, I think like the instrumental is already like so interesting that like you don't really need the vocals. In fact, the vocals can kind of drown out how in interesting the instrumentals are. But for some of the other music they made, like Beast Test, like it feels kind of empty without the vocals. And here I'm going to just, <gasps> wow! Oh yeah, excuse me there, but like yeah. I'm just going to immediately kill Gojo here with the robot. And it's very satisfying when you get like the robot at like the very last second for like the last chunk of health and you just boom it's over it's done uh Goljo has this one really annoying ass attack in his third phase where like he switches like his north and south thing to be very in a very confusing manner it doesn't follow the rules of like the way he did it in like his first two phases and it's just very complicated and if you don't do it like immediately you immediately die and it's just like bro i'm not dealing with that i'm not dealing with that i'm just skipping that whole phase entirely and oh <laughs> So yeah, when I turned off the music in this game. That's how I'm able to insert whatever song I want in post-production. However, turning off the music also turns off like the little JRPG like victory theme. So instead I replaced it with uh, this song and I think it fits very well. <laughs> yes, uh, I hope you all enjoy that. But yes, uh, what was I talking about? So uh, this so this dude, uh, the design for like this boss fight, like the, the character design was done by someone who worked on Borderlands. So I decided to include a song from like pretty much borderlands 2 like the whole intro of that game and one thing which i really like about this song is that it says the word hero in it and it's like no more heroes heroes like oh my goodness like, like oh the, the the motifs but like the oh my god there's a word for this uh i think the word is theme oh the theming the theming oh my goodness yeah see what i'm doing here man like Oh yeah, I was saying that death mode. So I don't really know, like death mode, uh, like I thought the only thing it changed was that if you get hit once, you immediately die. That's true most of the time. However, there's certain attacks by certain boss fights which just don't immediately kill you. And I was kind of surprised by that. But yeah, something else with this mode might or might not change is that I don't think you get like fancy rewards nearly as often as in uh, Carolina Reaper, but I'm not even sure about that because I, there are certain fights which are in this video where I got like reward after reward after reward, but I don't think like I did anything nearly as broken as the stuff I did in that previous video because like that previous video like that it was just not fair sometimes, but here like it's not nearly as bad. I will say that I think one thing and also since I'm not getting that many rewards like sometimes I'm actually having to adapt like the boss fights like fighting styles more. So you're gonna see a lot more like perfect dodging in this video because I had to actually learn some some of the that timing for that was perfect. Like, are you kidding me? Also, apparently, uh, so yes, I use songs which are copyright claimed, like uh, Kanye West on site uh, copyright claimed, like my previous no commentary ver video. However, this song didn't co like uh, copyright it, which is strange. I mean, it is like a licensed song, but no, I guess the band really doesn't care. Like their production company really doesn't care, or maybe. It was used in Borderlands 2, and because a lot of people played Borderlands 2, I guess they decided to like cool off on the copyright claims? I don't know. However, I have a neat trick. I mentioned it in pretty much every single previous video, but every time I make a commentary version and there's a licensed song in my commentary version, it's not going to get a copyright claim because I talk so loud that like it just overshadows whatever licensed song is playing, and I guess the system doesn't pick up on that, so that's very nice. And I really like this moment because like, those electric blasts, uh, they just straight up stunned the other dudes which teleported into frame. So yeah, like this dude teleports like into three different dudes, and that could be very troublesome, and honestly, I thought I was going to fail. It's like, look at that! I should have taken damage there but no no so yeah i got very lucky here and i'm very happy that i got very lucky here because like if i died at this point i'd just be like man eh, come on why you gotta do me like that like i mean oh my goodness so yeah i think i probably mentioned it in my previous video but yeah like death mode doesn't cover all the boss fights honestly i might have mentioned it in this exact video but yeah death mode doesn't cover all the boss fights because i don't know the time machine skips a few things like it skips the second phase of mr black hole's fight it skips uh, the turn-based phase of 
Sonic Justo, to be fair, in my Carolina like Reaper video, I skipped that phase too because I thought it was impossible, but apparently it's not impossible. You actually can no damage that. So yeah, there was a point in my previous video where I was like, oh yeah, uh, that turn-based stuff is actually impossible to no damage. Uh, I was completely wrong. I was just too stupid to see it because it was like one of those like meta-ass ways to like no damage the fight. You pretty much just attack the menus and it pretty much shuts down the fight before it even starts. But I was kind of like, oh, the game is like, you know, satirizing jrpgs by making the battle really long and lame but no it was satirizing them by uh, pretty much telling me that i'm a big dumb idiot for not attacking the menus so yeah that was my issue so now the song i'm using here is pinkie pie's theme from the my little pony fighting game uh how do i know this uh, i'm going to blame josh scorcher the epic countdown creator that's where my knowledge comes from However, I do think this song fits this fight really well. Like, everything's pink, everything's all nice and bubbly. And also, I like the part where Travis is like, uh, GET THE FUCK OUT! Like, I like that part with the song. It's really funny. And yeah, uh, I think, uh, Kimmy here, she's... Is she the only boss fight which has a phase, which, like, just has a big cutscene, which interrupts everything? Like, I don't know. I don't... I, I don't think... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Henry also has something like that. So, let me think about it. So, this fight... Okay, the next fight after this is Big Dumb Octopus. Uh, the fight after that is Midori. And then after that, it's uh, Destroy Man. Then after that, it's Sonic Juice. And then after that, it's Henry. Then Fu. Uh, Fu 2, and then Damien. So yeah, uh, Kimmy and Henry are the only boss fights in this game which have something which, which like, after you defeat their first phase or what, so, or like whatever. Yeah, like after you defeat their first phase, even though, like, that cutscene doesn't exactly activate after you defeat their first phase, because I'm assuming that her first phase is her green health bar, and when that thing happens, like, she still has a little bit of green health bar in there, so it's still part of her first phase, but, you know, whatever, once you deal, like, enough damage there, she has a big cutscene where she goes, whoop, drrr, and she spins around, and look at that, that was so close, like, usually when those lasers come on, I want to be really close to, like, the bear crotches here, and I, I just ran, I sprinted all the way over there and like I got, like I got under there just in time for that laser not to hit me. Yeah, I talked about the strategy I used for the lasers in my previous video, but yeah, I'm still using that strategy here. However, I will say like this Kimmy fight is not as convenient as my previous video just because uh, I, like in my previous video, I was able to skip uh, one of like these laser phases just by like annihilating Kimmy so hard. But here I have to sit through like pretty much her DM attacks. What are her DM attacks? Kind of like her... Okay, the reason I say DM attacks is because I saw this one Kingdom Hearts 2 video from the... Uh, I forgot the dude's name, but like he no damaged like the boss fights and he... Like he no damaged the boss fights in the... Uh, the data... Not the database place. I, I forgot like the data boss fights, you know what... The data place boss fights. And he started using out all the like technical ass terms. There's like this one term called like a DM, like a dedicated move, a dimensional move, a death move. I don't know, but pretty much what it means is that it's an attack which a boss fight will do, which you just can't interrupt, and you pretty much have to deal with it. And and, and like the lasers is kind of that. Like the boss fight just straight up disappears, and you just have to deal with those lasers. And yeah, this is the hardest fight in the game. I am 100% convinced on it. I was, I mean, I said it in my previous video, but now that I've done this on death mode, I've no damage this boss fight like two times, and I can say with full confidence, it is the hardest fight in the game. Nothing else comes close. Like, I mean, I was thinking that maybe Fu would be harder, but now that I know his patterns, like, I'm pretty much like revisiting these boss fights, knowing pretty much all their patterns, and this is still the hardest fight in the game without question to no damage. The, the, like the obstacles here are just such a nuisance and yeah I was I something I mentioned before so yeah the lasers and the fire attacks which show up in this stage they don't one shot you in fact they don't even deal that much damage they deal piss damage I think like even like Suda and like his gang know that those lasers and like fireworks and, like you know not they're not fireworks they're just literal fire like they know that those things are so fucking annoying that like if they actually made them like one hit kill you like this this would be completely unbearable though if you're playing this game normally you can let it hit you and you won't you don't die however since i'm doing a no damage thing i had to avoid them and it was pain it was misery and yeah i mean do I even have to mention like the switching camera and whatnot? And yeah, I didn't even try to do like a double S rank because I don't even know how the double S rank stuff works. I mean, I'm assuming that if I get like a certain special type of chip, maybe I'll be able to like double S rank every single fight. 
but I but I did not mess at all with the chip system because I didn't need it. Like I was able to like defeat these boss fights pretty quickly without them. I mean, I have three chips, but they're very, very basic chips, and I don't really think they change much of anything. In fact, I forgot. And yeah, the sink here with like this big monster says Adrian, and then like the music finally kicks in. And yeah, uh, the vocal version of this track is awesome. It's just you know that this fight is such is so whatever, and I got triple sevens, which are gonna end the entire fight right now. <laughs> like uh, in my previous video, I had like triple green sevens like throughout the entire fight for some reason. I don't know why, but for here. I just have triple sevens and yeah, the fight's over. However, I sync the song to like the cutscene. I mean, it's a little bit indulgent, I'd say, like cause there's, there's like a huge black screen, and, like the, the lyrics are still going on, but like it syncs kind of well because like the sad part of this song comes on. So yeah, uh, this is a song they use for like uh, probably one of the best cutscenes in the game, which is nice, and apparently they use it for this boss fight. And yeah, like I mean, this scene was like silent. But I decided to add this kind of sad part, and I think it fits pretty well. And I also like how the music just immediately cuts off when like I cut this thing's brain in half. So yeah, that's cool. That is very, very cool. And yeah, I just really like Travis as a like, green, purple. Um, <laughs> I don't like the fitting of this song here. I mean, no, I like it a lot, but it's just very funny and like how it plays. Because I brought what you got. So yeah. Uh, during the time machine, they don't show like these kill animations for all the boss fights. Sometimes it'll just be a hard cut to the ranking screen. So whenever it like hard cuts to like the ranking scene, I just did not mess around with the sound. Even though like the ranking the ranking screen does have a very nice tune. It kind of reminds me of Kid Icarus Uprising, like some of the tunes like that game would play. So yeah, here I think is the second hardest boss fight. Like oh my goodness, I think I talked about all my frustrations with this fight in my previous video, but like. Uh, like the fire attacks are so annoying because you walk over them and it's like boom damage so yeah her fire attacks if you walk over fire it'll deal like a third of your health bar but it won't immediately kill you so yeah death mode is not living up to its name i will say that this attempt of the fight which i did here is much better than my previous attempts it's very fast it's very quick it's very like straight to the point and also i love the vocal version of beast test like the, the the instrumental version does not compare at all to the vocal version the vocal version just feels so alive it's it's constantly changing it's probably like, one of the best like themes in the entire like series just the vocal version like i mean yeah the instrumental is really good but man the vocal version just goes insane like ah like I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like the way it's like built up, like the way the singer comes in at certain points, and like the way like the motifs are constantly, no, not the motifs, but like the way like the ri like look at that, like this is perfect, like the way it keeps changing, like the like I don't know the style, the not the style, but like the, the, but I, I think it's awesome, is what I'm saying, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sad that the vocal version wasn't used for like the game, or at least for like the boss fight, because like. This theme is also used for a lot of normal enemy encounters, and yeah, I've talked about my disappointment with the way this game handles like normal like enemy encounters in comparison to previous games, because you know this game removed levels and all that. I talk about that more in my previous video, so yeah, uh, this video is just one glorified advertisement to go watch my previous video, but I also want you to watch this video because I changed the music and I think that's very neat. And also, like, I think my performance on I think a majority of these boss fights is much better from my previous video. And also, this is the death mode. Blah, 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 blah. Like the, the way this song syncs up every time, like she does, like the bubble thing. Like the, I mean, she does the bubble thing like once, like the music ramps up, and then she does the bubble thing here, and she goes, like, yeah. Well, like you know, the music's all silent. Then once she does the bubble thing, like the music comes back. Like oh my goodness. So yeah, uh, I think what I'm saying here is that this game is good, I guess. Oh, so yeah, this song isn't copyright claimed, so I mean, I could let it play out, though. I don't know, I feel like for the vibe of this video, maybe I shouldn't stay silent for things, though, to be fair, I mean, I think I've talked quite at length about this game, so I mean, I could afford a moment of silence or two for me to go, hey, look at that, that's cool, isn't it? No, I have not played the Silver Case, I do have it on Steam, though, I should play it sometime, though. Uh, I, like, a no damage attempt at that game is probably pointless, because it's more a visual novel type thing, and I don't assume it has any boss fights. <laughs> So yeah, uh, here, uh, this is a song I heard in one of my college classes because like uh, one of my classmates was working with like this one artist which remixed uh, pre a previous song and kind of added a bit of a drum beat, kind of sped it up to like a bit more of a different beat, which made me find the original song 
uh, I mean, I'm gonna include like uh, the titles of every song I include in this video in the comments. However, by comments, I mean only on my no commentary version. So if you want to know like the songs I use in every single part of this video, of like this video, go to the no commentary version and look at the comments, and you'll have your answer. But yeah, like I mean, I look at the original song, like the original song, which like this like remix or like a re-edit is based on, uh, is Oz is great. However, it does not fit this fight at all, but this edit does fit this fight, though I mean, I don't know, I guess it's subjective. Because, <laughs> I don't know, like, this fight's original theme had a bit more of a techno-y feel or whatnot, while this is just straight, like, guitars, drums, yada yada. However, like, the fast pace of the drums, guitars, fits really well with how hard I am FUCKING this guy! Like, oh my goodness, Destroy Man is getting absolutely destroyed. And, like, I did destroy Destroy Man in, like, my previous video, but I'm destroying him in a completely different way here. Because the way I destroyed him in my, diff in my previous video was that I got triple sevens twice. However, here, the way I'm destroying him is I keep spamming him with that one attack, which is just, like, uh, where Travis just spams, like, stabs a whole bunch. Like, this attack right here, for some reason, like, every time I do that stabby attack and Destroy Man's about to do, like, an attack, it, like, stuns him and allows me to do, like, a big slash, which gives me, like, an uh, opening on the slot reel. It also just allows me to kind of combo him more. And I kind of, like, look at that. I got so lucky that, like, I recharged my battery. And then I did that attack. And then I got, I'm able to, like, recharge my battery, like, completely just by doing, like, a throw attack. I'm like, are you kidding me? And, yes, I talked about this game's, like, great flow in combat in my previous video. I really like the, like, the flow of this game's combat. Yes, uh, you have to watch both of my videos to give me, uh, money. Give me money. Yes. Uh, see, look at this. This, like, this is so lucky. Like, this is insanely lucky. I mean, I've tried it in, like, some of my previous attempts. And, like, Destroy Man would always attack me first. But, like, at that point in time, at that point specifically, I got the first hit in, which allowed me to stun him. And, like, and now here, like, I mean, it's like, oh, my God, it's perfect. It's perfect. Look at that. Like, <laughs> I will say that attack is a little bit inconsistent because like the way you do like the big stabby stabby attack is by spamming the light attack a whole bunch. However, sometimes when I spam the light attack a whole bunch, I don't do it. Sometimes when I spam it lightly, I do do it. Like, I don't know. Like, it, it's weird. I'm telling you. Like, it never feels like I'm, like, I'm like, oh, it never feels like I'm fully in control when doing that attack. I mean, the, the best way I would do it is I would do a dodge roll and then I would spam the light attack a whole bunch. And most of the time that works, but sometimes it doesn't and I don't like that feeling. I really wish there was like a, a more consistent way to do that combo <laughs> but though to be fair i'm sure like uh fighting game veterans really don't care because they have to do way more complicated like inputs which could be mistaken for other inputs and i don't play fighting games because the combos scare me ah i have to play these uh, simple hack and slash games which uh, have uh light attack and heavy attack and that's it baby <laughs> and also like a bunch of other like loopy things or whatever but you know whatever whatever so now we're at the Sonic Juice fight, and I'm not going to include the turn-based section, just I don't want to pad this video out. And yeah, like, the vocal version of Orca Force is amazing. Like, I mean, yeah, the instrumental's cool too, but like, I just, man, the vocal version just hits different. It's so... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is a fight which I no damaged once, however, uh, I mean, to be fair, I no damaged in my previous video, but I'm referring to like when I was trying to no damage it for like my death mode run, and when I no damaged it, I, uh, I got a time of like 4 minutes and like 59 seconds, and I thought that was just horrid, <laughs> because like, uh, the only other person who's done a video where like they no damage all the boss fights on death mode, let me look up that YouTuber real quick, because I... Look at that! Like the little scream and like the, the timing on that is too good. It's too good. So yeah, the other the YouTuber who's actually like no damage this game on death mode before me is Omega Evolution, which like, I know it kind of stings because I, I kind of wanted to be the first person to no damage No More Heroes three because no one else is really like, okay. To be fair, no, I'm not the first person to no damage No More Heroes like one and two. Like uh, there was this there's a speedrunner who's no damage like No More Heroes one and two, and he like those videos helped me a lot with my own no damage attempts of those games. But I also I kind of wanted to be the first person to do three, and I mean maybe I was for Car like Car Carolina difficulty, like a Carolina Reaper. But for death mode, I am not. And also, I thought if I would release this video like super early, like I mean I grinded the hell out of like No More Heroes three like the day it came out, and during that time I was also moving, so you know it was a very very complicated experience. But yeah, I thought like if I got it out early, like the video would be popular. But then I realized that, you know, once the video came out, like me, my previous video, I realized that nobody really cares about No More Heroes 3 on the same level as Roblox. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, here I am kind of, I mean, I can't, like that's the thing. I mean, Omega Re like Revolution already did a video no damaging all the boss fights in death mode. So I kind of had to differentiate myself for like kind of the music switch ups. So yeah, here I am. And this, th so yeah. 
Like I mean, like I mentioned before, like the first time I no damage this boss fight on death mode, it was kind of horrid. So I redid it until I got a better time and I got this attempt. And this attempt is like a minute shorter, so like it was absolutely worth it. And I got moments like this. This is perfect. Like I mean, the music like kicks in, like the smooth. I love this part of the song specifically, like this smooth little like flow, surf flow here. And there's also the part where like I go insane on this guy. I mean, I got the Mustang mode, and then after the Mustang mode, I slow down time to like increase my combo, and I just like this is insane. Record, like look at this. Like he's getting absolutely annihilated over here. Like. This is unprecedented destruction over here. Like, oh my goodness. I wish I had more vo like complicated vocabulary to stretch out the point I'm making here. Like, I mean, I don't have a, th a th thesaurus on me at the moment. Uh, I do have an uh, Alex Ikea, like, uh, catalog. I have. I, ha I will say that my previous videos, I think like my last two or four videos, I recorded them while sitting on my bed. This time I built a desk, so now I'm actually recording them from the desk. I Maybe that improves audio quality. I don't know. Maybe that improves quality overall but it certainly improves my quality of life and i just missed that death kick I, i'm going to kill suda 51 i'm going to kill the past uh that is a very funny reference uh no i haven't played flower suns and rain but i would like to play it on the ds i just hope a ds copy isn't that expensive i still do have my 3ds but i haven't used my 3ds in a while because i just haven't played that many 3ds games the last 3ds game i've beaten was bravely default and bravely default is a game which is impossible to no damage any of the boss fights it's just the way the game's designed and also uh when i say that i mean that i typed in bravely default no damage and zero videos popped out so i'm just going to assume that it's flat out impossible because like by now if like if it was possible someone must have done it so to be fair, I mean, there's always like time to like pioneer stuff, you know, be a pioneer in your field. But I, ha I just simply think that it's probably impossible. It's probably impossible, I think. Yeah. So here is the part where I had to talk the entire time. Though to be fair, I've been talking the entire time for every single previous boss fight. But this is the second song which copyrighted, which copyright claimed my previous video. There were two songs which did it, and this is one of them. And the reason I chose this song is because Henry's theme in this game is just kind of boring. Like it really has not grown on me. Like Henry's theme in this game. Like it kind of has this, oh my goodness, I stopped talking for like a single second. I think this video is going to get copyright claimed. Oh my goodness. Uh, so I'm going to keep moving on. So yeah, like, I mean, his previous theme was kind of boring. It was kind of slow. It was kind of like just not hype like his previous themes. However, uh, Pray For Me by The Weeknd I think is a really good fit because it kind of has a similar vibe and beat. And also it's very thematic because at one point Kendrick Lamar says hero, no more heroes 3. Oh my goodness, the theming is so hype. I need to be in Hollywood and I need to like do drugs and die. Uh, no, I will I will not do that because uh, if I do that uh, like doing drugs is not going to make me do big movie and it was not gonna let me do big no damage. Also Bojack Horseman did that and I think if he did it it might be a bad thing maybe. So yeah Bojack Horseman is that one show about the dude who says human things but he's a horse guy. I saw like the first two seasons and like a little bit of the third season and I just kind of stopped. Like, I think I forgot to keep watching it. And now it has six seasons and it's kind of hard to get back into it again because I kind of want to do a full rewatch because it's been so long so I've seen like the first two seasons. And when I watched it, yeah, it was good. I, I liked it quite a bit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, so here, like, I mean, this is the part where Kendrick's part comes in, and yeah, he's gonna say hero right now. Oh my goodness, hero! And Henry, he's evil because he saw Thor, and it's like, oh my goodness, the thematics are so strong. Also, I chose this song because it's a song from an MCU movie. It's not a song from Thor, but it is a song from Black Panther, and I don't think Henry's the type of person to get mad at a song being used from Black Panther, because I don't know. Like, Marvel soundtracks are not that memorable, though, to be fair, I think I forgot that Thor had that one song that went dun, 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 dun. <laughs> which is uh, the little immigrant I forgot the band which made that song uh, I think someone wants to kill me for that and yeah thankfully I got invincibility during this part so I can just do and like it comes at the part where the song's like like you know perfect timing and look i'm gonna throw this guy again and yeah i took damage i mean i got hit during that part but since i was invincible it didn't damage me it's like look at this amazing and also i like how the song syncs up when i'm throwing this guy now it's all slow and sad it's like oh my goodness who's gonna take this pain away from me you know who's gonna save my soul and it's a really really like it fits this moment really well because Travis fucking dies after like this fight so this song is like very tangentially related to what's going on it 
Like, when the song enters this section, when, like, you know, Henry does this big, like, DM attack, like, it fits so well! And also, like, this song fits amazingly, like, throughout this entire fight. Like, I mean, the song, like, fades out perfectly. I mean, it goes, like, it pretty much like, ends at the exact moment that this fight ends. Like, I mean, that's, like, the will of God telling me that I have to put this song in the video. Like, I mean, I was struggling, like, struggling, struggling to choose a song for, like, this fight. I, I mean, I started off with, like, trying to, like, put Fade by, like, Kanye West for this, like, fight, but... Uh, it just did not sync well with the ending but this song fits perfectly for the ending and it's just like nice 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 and i forgot what other songs i tried to sync up with this fight but yeah it was a hassle to like do it like with some of the other fights it wasn't too bad but like for this it was it was really tough yeah and also yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stay silent for, oh no yeah, did you see that actually like uh like a split second like once this section when this little animation started there were two travis models there was one which was about to hack the shit out of henry and there's the second one just standing off in the corner over there like i mean just like look at this video like i mean like you go back like when that like cutscene like started like we you know when it, it went to blackout and immediately cut into this cutscene like the first like half second like there's two travis models and like, yo what the hell like, it's a very nice glitch to get on a no damage attempt very 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 nice and yeah that's the thumbnail of my no commentary version i think the thumbnail for this version is going to be like the little cutesy chibi uh version of travis and yeah here i had a super tough time choosing a song for this section of the fight i was about to choose like uh an anime opening like uh from this one anime called like uh rainbow something something which was about a couple dudes in prison which i didn't see but it has this one opening which is like Aah! like it starts with a dude like screaming like Aah! Aah! and like i mean it kind of fit this fight but it was awkward and then i tried to choose a a red orca song i tried to choose nighthawk but that song didn't really sync up well with the ending of the fight like it just kind of like it, it just kind of cut abruptly and it just did not fit and then I kind of came to the conclusion to use some Yakuza 7 so songs, though I did not choose this one at first. I chose uh, Light and Darkness, which is like the final boss track of the game. And then I chose uh, Overcoming the Dragon, which is like the actual final boss of the game gameplay-wise. Uh, neither of them really fit for the ending, but they had some neat moments throughout. And then I tried to do confront. No, I never did confrontation. I think at one point I actually did Majima's theme from 7. That didn't fit really well. That didn't really fit either. But then I decided to choose like the final dungeon track and this fits perfectly like it syncs up well it's epic like you know it's like the final fight and it's like it just has that vibe completely. And I mean, I honestly really would have liked to use a Red Orca song, though to be fair, the theme they used during this phase of the fight specifically was not a Red Orca song, it was something else, it was Gravedigger, which was composed by someone else. Like, they only used the Red Orca song for the second phase of this fight, which isn't included in the time machine, so it's not going to be included in this video, because you literally cannot fight it on death mode. But yeah, the second phase of this fight sucks ass, and you can, like, see my previous video, so you can see, like, all my complaints about that fight. But the song they used for that fight is amazing. Nighthawk is awesome with and without vocals. Like, it's such an amazing, like, just, like, a, like amazing, like, finale track. And I mean, like, it's cool that they use it for, like, the the almost final boss i mean to be fair like damien's like the actual final boss but he's honestly more of a joke of a final boss though i mean he has like actual final boss attacks but it's like you know oh hey we're in smash oh hey we're here and it's just not as like cool as foo because foo is like the main star of the show he has the coolest design he looks like a bird he's got this sick hair and all that like yo let's go also my foo fight here is impeccable like i'm just absolutely annihilating this guy and i get super super lucky with my like uh draws i mean in the beginning of this video you know when i got mustang mode and like i mean i stopped attacking for some reason that's my switch controller messing up like i mean i was spamming the hell out of the light attack button but for some reason travis was not attacking which led to foo blocking the attack to be fair like i mean me messing up like that attack actually led to the video syncing up better so that's cool but yeah my the switch controllers which i have now are drifting to shit they're barely responsive with like the light and heavy attack button which made certain boss fights just an absolute pain in the ass to no damage kimmy was absolutely one of those fights uh midori was also absolutely one of those fights i think it maybe screwed me over with foo a little bit but it's no 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 sonic juice oh my goodness my drifting ass switch controllers kept fucking me in that fight and i hate it also i'm gonna say the word fuck a lot because this is a mature game where they say fuck a lot so i mean if i was playing mario or like kirby i'd probably keep the language like down to a minimum as in no never going to say the f word because you know i mean those games are family friendly you know i mean if someone wants to see me no damage those games i mean 
and like you know they're of age to play those games i mean i don't want them to be like discouraged by me going fuck shit ass ah! and okay did you see how hard i like screwed foo over here like I got the freaking grabby mode. I grabbed him a whole bunch, and then like I comboed him, and I got the grabby mode again. So I kept grabbing him over and over. And then once I was done with the grabby mode, I got the Mustang mode. And when I activated the Mustang mode at this exact point, the music synced up perfectly. So it went when like the, the like the icon for Mustang mode appeared. Like oh my goodness! And it's also like tr like double S. You know this attempt was fire. I actually like no damage like the the Fu on death mode like once before but like it was a very long ass fight it was like over a minute longer than like the attempt in this video so I redid it so it could be sexy and swag and it was so sexy and swag I definitely prefer my attempt of Fu in this video than the attempt I had in my previous video now here uh, is Night in Prague which is like an amazing credits theme for this game and I love it two bits and like I was kind of sad it wasn't used in a boss fight so I'm using it in a boss fight right now and honestly like uh, this boss fight there's not really much to say here I mean it is what it is so yeah I, I'm gonna let it play out so yeah thank you for watching and for next time I have to do that Roblox video and I, I mentioned that I, there's this essay which I kept putting off I'm gonna say right now that I have finished that late essay so oh, that is not harming me anymore I instead have to worry about my current assignments uh, for this semester which I have also not done because I had to build a desk and also I'm lazy and also blah 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 and also no damage well whatever but at least that big like essay which might have failed like that class it's done it's over very very nice so like that, that that's character development right there I say it's over it's done we're moving on to a new era so yeah so now I, I have to do that Roblox 6 video so I'll do that however uh, something which I just realized is that Lost Judgment comes out in a week so I have to stay on toast for that game and like I'm probably not gonna get a PS5 to play it but I, I really like to because playing that at 60 FPS would be very nice and also recording 1080p 60 FPS would be very nice however uh, it, one thing that sucks about that is that like, I mean the only way to like record 1080p 60 FPS is like with that P the PS5's like screen capture or whatever but I am absolutely sure that for certain moments in the game they're gonna block me from screen capturing so I'm gonna have to record a 7 like 720 60p because I don't want to lose 60 FPS randomly at points but like I'm gonna drop the quality like super hard so like I mean f like screw you Sony I hate you let me screen record everything in the game stop blocking footage I hate you also, I reached 300 subscribers, so yeah, thank you so much for that, and because of that, I have to rank every single Kanye album which has been released thus far, so yeah, I'll see you all then. I don't know which of these videos is going to come out first. That's going to be my surprise from me to you. Yes, bye-bye.